Well, it looks like I have found a, uh, a meadow full of sagebrush. What is unique is that I have not seen any sagebrush this far west before. I usually see it further east in the Great Basin. But here it is. So the westernmost uh, colony of sagebrush that I have seen. And what's interesting is that I have been out harvesting elderberries, as I'm sure you've seen on my other videos. So I've been getting elderberries that are specifically useful for boosting the immune system, especially when it comes to colds and flus, although it is good for other things as well. And while I'm out harvesting elderberries, I come across sagebrush, um, Artemisia tridentata. This is also a very useful herb for colds and flus. It is good for inducing sweats which helps purge the body of toxins and helps you to get over a sickness more quickly. So I think that since I found this on the same trip as my elderberry harvest, I'm going to collect a few sprigs and I'm going to add these in to my tinctures with the elderberry and a few other herbs and uh, make basically a super booster for the immune system I'm just taking a few sprigs here and there. I'm trying not to just decimate one whole branch, but rather just collect a few here and a few there. I don't really need much. A little bit of sagebrush will do you. And then in addition to this, I also found in another meadow, I found some Lomatium dissectum. And Lomatium is the herb that the Paiutes used during the flu pandemic of the early 1900s. And when researchers went to the Paiute tribe after the pandemic to discover why it was that there were no fatalities among the tribe, the tribe indicated that it was the Lomatium plant that they were using um, on their tribal members that, that kept them from dying. So even though the flu went through the tribe, nobody died from it. And that was attributed to the Lomatium. So I now have a Lomatium root that I dug and I have some sagebrush um, twigs, and then I have elderberry, and I also harvested a stalk of uh, woolly mullen, which is excellent for clearing the lungs of mucus and phlegm. It acts as an expectorant, and it's also antiviral. So I'm thinking I have four herbs that I can use in combination in a single remedy, and if it all works as I think it should, I should end up with a super powerful anti-cold and flu remedy this winter.